Hello, it's Michael Carbonaro here. Welcome to the After Effects. Thank you for watching the newest episode of the Carbonaro Effect. I've got your questions right here. Thanks for writing these in, and uh, I'm just gonna start to answer them. So here they come. I got a question here from Dana who says, do you prepare information like the Mexican piranha mice and the three rows of teeth prior to shooting, or do you make that up on the spot? The mouse ate the snake? Yeah, it's a Mexican piranha mouse. He ate that whole big snake? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Actually, you know, if you open the mouth, you can see he's got six rows of teeth. Six rows? Six rows of teeth. Three on the top, three on the bottom. You know, sometimes I think up something like in the shower before the shoot that day, I'll be like, oh, that'd be funny. I, I'm not sure it was Mexican piranha mice. I might have just thought of piranha mice and then Mexican flew out of my mouth when I said it or three rows of teeth came out on the spot. It's a little of each. You know, I kind of get a couple of ideas and then just kind of flow with it as it comes from. Jan says, what were you looking for when you cast the young Michael Carbonaro? Yes. No. Oh, no! Ah! oh my God. It made you young. Oh my God. We were looking for uh, someone who could play with people in the moment because you know we knew that they're, they're gonna be out there with somebody who doesn't know that they're in a scene. You're, you're a kid now. Look in the mirror. Holy This kid had stage time and uh, he does his own stand-up comedy. He had improv training. Super cool, and uh, we just thought he'd be perfect for it. <laughs> I'm Michael Carbonaro. You're on my magic I'm TV show right now. <laughs> so can you get back older? No, I'm pretty sure this permanent. <laughs> Destiny says, when you leave the woman at the end with the trick with the sticky tray, I thought it was hysterical that she knocks over the cups. Oh my gosh, that was too perfect, because here was a trick that had a tray that things are supposed to be adhered to, and then she like knocked over all the stuff on the ground. That was like the perfect ending. All right, didn't work for that. This is our last question. Tori writes in, what advice can you give my 10-year-old daughter who is studying magic? Um, I would say, uh, learning magic, awesome. Practice in front of a mirror, do your due diligence, making the tricks look good. But you know, magic is a performance art. So as many things that you could do outside of magic to enrich yourself as a performer are great. You know, whether it's stand-up comedy or some dance classes or be in a play or a musical to really expand your ability to become a performer, that will only make your magic that much more magical. So thank you guys so much for writing these questions in. Again, you write those at hashtag AskMichaelCarbonaro. Put that on Twitter, on Facebook. Uh, put it on your front lawn, and I will, uh, I will answer those questions for you. We'll see you again next time.